So I'll do the outside here first. Uh, as you can see, there's still some snow piled around it, but I'll have that shoveled out. So spare tire carriers on there. There's also a spot for a video camera if you want to hook, hook it all up. Outside shower, heater. Uh, there's a fridge vent just under that tarp right there. And you got the water heater. And then as we come along here, you got your city water and your holding tank water. It's got dual 30 pound propane tanks. It's got the aluminum rock guard on the bottom. Uh, two and five sixteenth trailer hitch. Battery box is back there. Those brackets go with my equalizer hitch. So they'd have to come off. It's got an outside light. And this side, we get under the tarp here. Uh, it's got the awning just about full length. And at the very back on the back corner is a storage bin. Outside uh, power is on there. Wheel covers will, will go with it as well. Uh, let's see here, I'll get this opened up. It's got a dual lock on it, which is nice when you're out somewhere. Uh, I think I got it open. Oh, nope, hang on, wrong way. There we go. So anyway, I've got the lights. It's got a pull-out step down here. I don't have any lights on in here, but uh, anyway, that's coming in the door. And it's got the DVD player up there, AM, FM radio. Uh, I haven't got any batteries on right now for winter, but uh, anyway, it's got overhead storage above the settee. It's also got, uh, I'm trying to get a flashlight on here. There we go. It's got a pantry, a place where you can put a TV, uh, the air conditioning and a heater unit are there on the roof. It's got the outside antenna that goes up and down. It's got a decent sized fridge, freezer, microwave, a stove and oven. And then you've got your kitchen area. And you got your front bed that pulls out and makes a double bed. I put another cabinet in here. It used to just be an open spot. So I used to put my uh, bar taps on there for when we were out with a group of people. Uh, let's see here. Down below here is a gas alarm. Uh, you got your cupboard doors. I always tie them up for moving. Little storage area there for trinket stuff. Uh, and in behind this blue thing is where that bypass is for the water system. There's a bunch of valves. I'd have to show you how that works. And underneath the bench here is your water tank. And then down in here, uh, this valve system here, I made it so you can suck your antifreeze in instead of having to try and pour it in and fill everything you didn't want to fill. And that, that works like a hot dam. Uh, what else here? There's storage under the seats here. Another storage area there. This dinette folds down into a, a double bed. And then there's a pantry closet in here. And then there's an upper bunk that folds down. And it's a double-sized bed here. Underneath that double-sized bed in behind the fire pit there is a, another storage cupboard. Little outside sink outside the bathroom with stuff there. Your furnace is right here and your electrical panel. And let's see here. Uh, what else? Uh, it's got a sound, like the speakers are up in the ceiling here and uh, air conditioning, venting and all that. There's lots of vents all around the trailer for heat and air conditioning. Another small cupboard here to hang stuff in and um, let's see and we get to the bathroom area here 
outside the bathroom door is a sink. And then inside here is the bathtub and shower, toilet. I put a I put another valve in here with a hose that you can use to help flush out when you're emptying the tanks. Uh, what else can I show you here really? Uh all the curtains. Uh my partner uh did all the sewing of all new curtains. The ones that were in here were those uh, cheap little uh, Venetian blinds. We got rid of those. Uh, that's a, That panel there is actually for my portable solar system that I use. It's also got the uh, thing here so you know when your tanks are full or empty. As I say, microwave... Uh, Overhead cupboards above the uh, kitchen sink area. Uh, overall, uh, it's been a great little trailer, but we've uh, decided that we needed something bigger. Uh, my girl does uh, craft fairs and that, and we've got a. I made her a specialty trailer for doing craft fairs, so I've decided to. Uh, Go back to a motorhome so I can pull the craft or the craft trailer behind us as we go. So that's why we're basically gonna sell the trailer, because otherwise I was having to make two trips uh, with the truck. I'd have to pull this trailer over to where we were, and then I would have to go back and get her craft trailer and pull it in. So I was doing double trips. So I figured I'll go back to a motorhome and. And uh, just have to do one trip at a time. Anyway, if hopefully that video will help you a bit. Uh, nice little trailer, as I say. Uh, just for us and for what we're using it for, it's just not uh, working properly anymore. Uh, with her doing all these craft fairs and stuff. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can really show you. As I say, those tire covers are going to go with it. Uh, there's four of them on there. And it does have a place where you could hook up a uh, um, TV cable off the back end, I believe it is, or the other side. And that's about it. I'll, and I'll send you this video. Take care. Let me know.